Every RAW image I record with an OM system or Olympus camera is developed in OM workspace. The workflow in OM workspace is fast, efficient and delivers the signature high quality OM system look. My name is Thomas Eisel. I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria. My post-production workflow consists of three main steps. Step one, importing the images and making a selection. Step two, processing the raw files in OM workspace. And step three, performing specific photo edits in a dedicated photo editor. This is where I focus on retouching, local adjustments and cropping for delivery. Today is all about step two, the raw workflow in OM workspace. Let's get started. Welcome to my desktop. Let's start OM workspace and open the folder with the sample images. Here is the first trick. You can create a direct link to any folder on your PC by just grabbing the folder and dropping it in the shortcut section of OM workspace. Now you just have to click on the shortcut and you are ready to go. There are five tasks ahead of us. Task one, adjusting the white balance. Task two, correcting the exposure. Task three, applying color grading. Task four, perform tonal adjustments. Task five, making detail adjustments. Let's edit this architectural shot of Vienna's public library. But before I move any slider in workspace, I try to pre-visualize the final result. I imagine this shot to be muted and gritty, a touch of urban brutalism. On to task one, adjusting the white balance. I've saved editing features I use frequently to the favorites tab in OM workspace. So here is white balance. And for this image, I think we should pick the cloudy white balance setting. So below the preset white balance setting, there is this blue to red slider and this pink to green slider. Let's move the blue to red slider to plus seven to warm the image up a bit. Let's correct the exposure of this image. When examining the photograph itself, as well as the histogram, we can easily find out that the image is a bit overexposed. So let's bring up the exposure compensation tab and reduce the exposure a bit. I'd say minus 0.7 EV is perfect. The third step is applying the color grading. Together with the previous two steps, setting the white balance and adjusting the exposure compensation, this will set the overall base look of our photograph. So basically there are two main functions to perform color grading. There is the picture mode setting and of course the art filter setting. So let's pick vintage two. That's our look that we now have to refine in the next editing steps. In the fourth step, we will adjust the tonal values of our photograph, meaning the contrast, the colors, and the overall tonal response. What the art filter did to our photograph is brighten it up quite a bit. And while this look is perfectly fine, I really prefer deep blacks in this photograph. So, to perform these tonal adjustments, I utilize the tone curve. In the tone curve, we now see the histogram that is currently displayed on our screen. And these two sliders on the bottom of the histogram are the so-called input sliders. With those, we can set a definitive black and white point in our photograph, and that's exactly what we wanna do. So let's set the black point of our photograph by moving the input black slider to the right. Looks much better. But what happened now is that the overall photograph is probably a bit too dark and it lacks contrast. In order to fix that, I will apply an S curve in the tone curve tool. So let's start with adding a control point on the lower end of the tone curve and drag the blacks down a bit more 
And not too far away from the first control point, I'm gonna position a second control point to lift the midtones and also the highlights a bit. I'd say this looks right. Let's do a quick before and after comparison. I'd say we've achieved the muted gritty look we were going for. In the last step, we will perform certain detail adjustments, namely setting the noise filter and the sharpness. Always start with the noise filter first. This photograph was captured at ISO 200. So by turning the noise filter off, we will get even more details. Let's zoom in to set the sharpness. Now we can clearly see that Vintage 2 introduced some film grain to the photograph. I really like that effect for this shot. All right, so let's set the sharpness. And for architectural shots like this one, I recommend sharpness plus one. I really like the look we've created here. So I'd like to transfer this look to a different image. To this image, to be more precise, a photograph of Vienna's Opera House. Here is how to do that. Let's go back to our image and save all the edit settings to one of the four edit presets in the bottom right corner of OM Workspace. Let's select the Opera House and paste all settings onto this RAW file by clicking on Edit Preset 1 in the bottom right corner. This dialog allows me to select different parameters, but for now we're just gonna paste all of them. This does not look very promising, but don't be discouraged and just stick to the editing routine. So step one is setting the white balance. And of course, the cloudy white balance that we transferred over from the previous photograph doesn't match the lighting circumstances of the opera house. For that, something like tungsten white balance is way more appropriate. Looks better already. Step two is adjusting the exposure compensation. Let's reset the exposure compensation to zero. And I'd say that looks very good already. On to step three, and that's color grading. We don't want to apply a different color grading as we want this look to match the shot of the public library. On to step four, performing tonal adjustments. We have to be very careful what we do in this step now, because if we mess with the tone curve, for example, we will change the tonal response and then the shot of the opera house will not match the shot of the public library. Nonetheless, I'd really love to bring out these red rear lights of the passing cars a bit more. In order to do that, I navigate to the adjust color tool. With the adjust color tool, I can control the saturation, luminance and hue of 12 predefined color ranges. Let's increase the color sectors too and three. I really like the result. We've transferred the muted and gritty look that we created for the public library successfully to this shot of the Opera House. Following an editing routine like this one guarantees peak efficiency as well as consistency and quality results. In upcoming videos, I will discuss editing features of OM Workspace in great detail accompanied by practical tutorials. To find them, go to my channel and refer to the OM Workspace playlist. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing and following me on other social media. See you next time.